preheating, I'm going up to 225 to 250. Then I'm gonna put on the ribs. I've got my heat deflector in there and my wood and my lump charcoal. Yeah, I have been out here about 30 minutes and I'm trying to maintain a heat between 225 and 250. And as you can see, my thermometer is at 223.6 and it's really hovering there. And I'm really afraid, you know, it's going up gradually, you can see, but I'm really afraid to let it get out of hand. I'd rather be on the low side and let these ribs cook a little longer. But you can see that I've got the upper vent almost entirely shut down and the lower vent almost entirely shut down. So I'm still rising in temperature just a little bit. You can see I'm 223.7 and in a second or so it may go up to 0.8 or it may just hold and I'll be happy with that. It went up to 0.8, but it's hovering, see, between 0.7 and 0.8. So I think I'm gonna go get the ribs now and uh, put them on. The temperature will lower considerably at when I raise the lid, but it'll rise back up to where it is, I think. The ribs are now on. The rub looks great. The temperature is holding. This will now cook for two hours and then I'll flip them for another hour. Pretty much in the zone for three hours now. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is take these off the grill and wrap them in foil and put them back on for another two hours in foil. So you can see I'm getting some bone pullback on these guys, so I think it's about time to do it. All right, I'll meet you inside and we'll wrap them in foil. Okay, I'm back inside with the ribs and uh, with this incredible barbecue sauce. I made it by hand from a recipe online, but this stuff is knockout. Man, oh man, fantastic sauce recipe. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a piece of foil, take a section of the ribs, and uh, put some sauce on there, wrap it up, and put it back out on the smoker for another two hours. Um, after that, we're going to take them out of the foil and uh, smoke them again for another hour just to get the sauce to caramelize on the ribs. Okay, so I don't know if you can see how good that looks, but man, it's pretty fine. I can, I can definitely dig into these. So I'm gonna complete this wrap up and then, um, well, I'm gonna turn it over, wrap them all with all this foil, put them back out on the grill. So, see you in a sec. The ribs are back on the smoker. The temperature has dropped to about 249. Now these are going to stay on the smoker for another two hours, making it a total of five hours. And then when they come off, they get another dose of the sauce and they cook for another hour with just the sauce to sort of create a veneer of uh, sauce on the top and then they'll be done and hopefully it will be a pretty good first experiment and uh, rib smoking. All right I just finished the two hour cook in foil and you can see these bad boys are looking really good. So I'm going to add another coating of the sauce otherwise known as Dan's meat varnish. And we're gonna varnish these suckers and put them back on the grill for one more hour. And that will make a total of six and then we'll be done. The ribs are back on the grill. The temperature has lowered a little bit because the lid is up. 
the smaller pieces I left in the foil because I didn't want them to get overcooked. And these rest of these are ready to go for another final sixth hour. We'll see what they taste like in a little over an hour. Okay, the final hour of cooking is over. The ribs have rested and it's time to take a taste. You can see all that juicy goodness. Man, oh man. Mm. Oh man. I only have three words to say. Lord have mercy. <laughs>